Welcome to the Eagles Update, your source for Philadelphia Eagles news and notes. It's Thursday, January 27th. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro at the NovaCare Complex. After 10 years in the NFL, six with the Eagles, three Pro Bowl nods, one Super Bowl championship, and universal recognition as the best offensive right guard in the NFL, Brandon Brooks has decided to call it quits. Injuries playing a big part in his decision. He made the announcement on Wednesday, holding a press conference in which he got very emotional, thanking all of those who helped him achieve his goal, who helped him make the journey to the NFL and to be among the very best. It certainly wasn't easy for Brooks, who ultimately said, it's been a decision a long time in the making. Uh, you know, it's something I, you know, Russell with since really last off season. And, um, you know, I think in this game, although I'm a young man, you know, in the game of life, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm older now at 32. You know, I think my body is trying to tell me through these injuries that, you know, can I still play? The answer is yes. But, you know, the answer also at this point is can I hold up? Um, after all these injuries, I just realized that, uh, you know, at what point do you listen to your body? And I think my body was, just, you know, just telling me and, um, you know, I had to, had to make a decision. And I think at this point in time, you know, it's the right decision. Um, you know, like I said in the letter, you know, Jeffrey Stalin's been a, been a hell of a coach. I mean, he took me from where I was to, you know, to the, to the top. And I think the O-line room with, Jordan Mayada, um, you know, really coming into his own. You got Isaac coming back. You got Landon, uh, you know, Nate Herbig, Jack Driscoll. You know, you got Lane and, you know, guys like that. You know, the room is in, in great hands moving forward. So I just think at this time, it, you know, it's best to step aside and, um, you know, let them do their thing. Brooks suffered a strained pectoral muscle in the week two loss to the San Francisco 49ers at Lincoln Financial Field. It was the last time that Brooks played in an Eagles uniform, and he will cherish the memories of playing in Midnight Green forever. The city and the fans will always have a special place in my heart. <clears throat> I also appreciate all of my OGs for showing me how to succeed in this game and what being a pro means. Thank you to my teammates, great players, but even better people. I'd like to thank Jeffrey Lurie and the Lurie family, Howie Roseman and Doug Peterson. You were there for my brightest days and my darkest ones. You were always in my corner and will be family forever. Thank you for allowing me the honor of being an Eagle. The move not entirely unexpected. Philadelphia has been developing the offensive line for years and is in good shape up front heading into the 2022 season. I'm Eagles insider Dave Spadaro. Thanks for joining me for this Eagles update. Have yourselves a great Eagles day. Fly, Eagles, fly, and go birds. Eagles, Eagles Entertainment.